Hello and welcome, I am Marumba. Thank you for joining me. We are playing Game of Thrones for Crusader Kings 2. This is episode number 7, I believe. And so, where we left off last, I had just arranged for some marriages to make my court like me better, because I'm an excommunicated and dishonorable person. So we, you know, we need to kind of woo the court a bit, make people like us. The fact that we're excommunicated really hurts our diplomacy score. My Master of Coin has just died. So I suppose we'll, uh... This person here doesn't like me very much. I'd rather go with somebody that does. Yeah, that score of 9 is just terrible. It's too bad I can't have myself do it. 32, I could really boost the income of this holding. I wonder. Let's check something real quick. If I go here, and I look at your kingdom, and I go to the actual kingdom, and then claimants... I'm trying to find out if there's anyone I can invite to court to try to improve our courtiers. Because I don't really want to pay for them anymore. As our income goes up, they're going to get more and more expensive. But still, 9 is just really bad. He's more likely to get collected, to get attacked by peasants than he is to collect a tithe. So I do think I'm going to do another courtier. Let's continue to try to get some people who are good with coin in. Not much better. I hate the fact that their traits are random. Oh well. No wars in the realm. Somebody's crowned ruler of a tournament. Someone else is a winner. Second place. Oh, that's right. And I've moved my guy accidentally. Try to improve relations with Robert again. A group of hedge knights has visited. I guess we'll take the take the money. Mid lower point gets reinforcement rate. The hedge knights are ready to just to depart. Give them a farewell feast or have them leave quietly. Farewell feast. If we can get enough prestige, it'll make up for the fact that we're excommunicated. It'll be tough, but... Next upgrade, I think, is going to be Castle Town. You hear rumors that people are mocking the way you dress, yet again. I shrug it off, which gives me a chance of becoming brave, but an equal chance of becoming rude. I'm already fashionable, but I, I could change the way that I dress, which would cause me to potentially lose fashionable. Or I can confront them. It's my, mas my maester, who is spreading the rumors, apparently. I would like to become brave. Brave is a respected trait. But then again, rude is... My, my maester is rude. Shall we roll the dice? By doing this, it's going to cause my maester to like me less. No, I'd say it's probably a better bet to take the prestige. I've discovered a plot where Lord Simon of Rook's Rest seeks to replace Lord Peter Littlefinger as Master of Coin. You will not succeed, you little rat. Twelve stewardship. No one in their right mind would, would ever allow that to happen. Clearly, we need to fabricate that you are a treasonous bastard. No support. Damn, being excommunicated really makes it difficult. Interesting as well is that um, I, I only had the option to do that one time, and then when I canceled it, it didn't. It's not available anymore. So that's interesting. And it seems to be that not everyone you are able to to fabricate to do that. For some reason I can here. I don't know why. It's an option, but it is. Let's see if we can maybe fabricate... Um, where, where's our land again? Down here. Can we fabricate treason on these guys? Is 
Do we even get that land revoked? Apparently not. Okay. Well. We need more land. Finally, my wife is pregnant. I know how to have intercourse with women. He's not a homo. That's good. I think I'm going to resume trying to fabricate plots. Now that, uh, fabricate claims, rather. Now that we don't have that huge boost from joining his wars. I think that, um, that's not going to happen for a long time. How much would it cost me to build a new one of these? 500 gold for a new castle. And I bet I still have to make a temple city or whatever before a castle. Check out the ledger, see what kind of wars are happening. Wars. There's only a few wars in this mod, so... We've got the second fist of the first men invasion of the frozen shore. Invasion. There's a third one. Nothing really all that interesting happening. The realm's fairly stable. Iron Throne. Beyond the Wall, Old Gods. Old Gods are the nameless nature spirits worshipped by the first men and by the children of the forest before them. Beyond the Wall, they are worshipped at the feet of heartstone, heart trees, sacred weirwood trees into which the face of the god has been carved. Fascinating. So Winterfell is dealing with one of the wars. He's defending a revolt against the rule of Lord Paramount Benjen of the North. That's right, Benjen is actually in charge of the North because... Oh, wow. Wait a second. Lord Paramount Eddard is dead. He has no children. What is going on? Is it just complete coincidence that Lord Paramount Benjen is married to Lord Arya? Okay, it's Arya of Bol. I was going to say, that looks like Arya of House Stark, but no, it's just some other person named Arya. What are the chances of that? Lady Sansa of Hornwood? What is going on with these names? You can't just name her Sansa. Sansa's a uh, Stark woman. Damn it. It's getting me all confused. So, in this playthrough, in this, in this history, you know, since they didn't have any kids for some reason, Lord Benjen has taken over as the Lord Paramount of the North. A Castellan is dead. Natural death. Damn. Once again, I think I just, I don't have very good people for this kind of stuff. Thirteen, okay, that's decent. Hmm. I'm going to boost up city taxation even though we don't have any cities. Just so that if we ever get a city, it's that way by default. And now what should we do? Once again, I'm researching economy tech. Makes sense. What can you say? It's a beta. I think that that, op that option, that ability to even do that, just needs to get removed from the game. I have a daughter. Her name is Ravella. She is attractive. We'll go with Ravella. That's a fine name. I wouldn't mind playing as an attractive girl. 
I'll have to work on my ability to sound like a girl. Okay, so we can claim... Gaston Gray. Well, my wife seems to have quite a few claims. She's got two. They're inheritable. Dorn is not going to be inheritable unless we press it in war. Gaston Gray. It's a single county, but it's held by this duke, so he's got lots of land. It's a level 2 Dornish keep. Not going to happen. Oh, right, so I needed to move this guy to fabricate claims once again on, I think it was this one. The level 1 keep. I don't like how there's that, like, you can actually put him on the water. I'm afraid of what would happen if I clicked it. Well, avoiding it pretty cautiously. So now, we, uh, now we're back to saving up money. Waiting for something to happen. It's a pretty big war down here. The Westmarch War to install Samwell in the Reach. Lord, is it Samuel Tarley? It is, it's House Tarley. Somebody wants to install Samwell Tarley onto... Huh. What is that all about? Seriously? Okay, let me just run and get this straight. So the current king, Lord Paramount Colin, is defending against Lord Randall in the war to install Samwell in the Reach. So Lord Randall Tarley is trying to get his son, Samwell, put on ch in charge of the Reach. Even though in the book he hates his own son. Samwell Tarley is is the you know, he's he's the piggy, he's the fat guy. Somehow he is quick though. Well he is I mean he's smart, he's a smart character. Craven fits him perfectly. Zealous? I don't know if he's that passionate about it. He changes his faith from the faith of the seven to the old gods when he takes his vows. He asks John he asks Jon Snow if he can And Jon Snow doesn't even exist. This is a weird playthrough. Um so but anyway, he changes his faith. Because the old, you know, the, the faith of the seven, he, he said something like the, the seven ne never really seemed to take care of him or care. Something like that. Interesting. So the reach, though, versus this, I think he's going to probably lose. He doesn't have nearly enough men. This is the army of this guy. He's, he doesn't have very many men at all. I don't know what he's thinking. He's getting assaulted already. 6400 versus 3100, he's gonna get his ass kicked. It's rather foolish. Yep, yeah, double, double the number there. Look at them hacking at each other. Yeah! In unrelated news, I, um, I'm already part of this faction, right? I'm, I'm a crown loyalist. I believe in the faith. I believe in the, believe in the crown. But in other news, I got an email back from, uh, from Paradox. I had requested a copy of Europa Universalis 4, which is coming out soon, as of today's recording, and got a positive response back, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm probably going to get a press copy, which is neat. It's neat, I tell ya. What are you up to? Lord Paramount John the Third of the Vale. Looks like John the Second died. Natural death at age 64. We've got John the Third, who is the uh, sickly child. He's supposed to be sickly, at least. But he seems to be just fine. He's 10 years old, doing all right. He's not married, of course, because he's too young. His heir is just some random other guy. It's not even of his dynasty. Well, it is of House Aaron, but so it is of his dynasty. Let's check out House Aaron. So if he dies, it's going to go over to where is it going? Wow, that's a lot of history. Jeez. There he is. So it's going to go from him up like three levels of fathers over to John Aaron here, Master of Arms. 
Well, at least he'll stay in the House House Aaron family. Not that I really want that. I prefer... Is a du jour claim on my title. I don't know how I'm directly beneath... Well, I did swear fealty to him. That's probably why. What are our chances here? Come on, fabricate a claim. 15% chance per year. That's not good enough. I want some action. I want growth. I'm eager. 70,000 supply. Wow. Ooh, and he's at war. Second war against the tyranny of Robert the Black Stag. Shall we go on another grand hunt? It is getting colder and colder. People no longer work in the fields of Midlore Point. Midlore Point gets mild winter until forever, giving the following effects. Local build time goes up, build cost goes up, supply goes down, and our levy gets depleted a bit. Not a big problem. It looks like the... Uh, that's kind of strange, actually, because the income... Did I see that the income didn't go down? Yeah, it's... It's just a mild winter. We still actually have good income. It's just not a time to be building things. Hmm. It's time for fabrication. Mild winter and prosperous. How come I don't get prosperous? Give me prosperous. Alchemists Guild. Pyromancers who have studied the magic necessary to safely make and store wildfire. Cool. There's some of the other stuff here. Peasants complained about the arbitrary steward. Prosperous. Justice prevails. So it seems like mild winter just affects the entire, entire map. Actually, it doesn't. Interesting. It's not affecting everywhere. Huh. Well, we're making 15, almost 15 gold a year now. That's good. Somehow we're paying our liege a small tax. Oh, we're... We're actually not paying... We're paying for the liege levy maintenance. We're helping to cover the cost. Huh. Neato. could build basic defenses, but it's the middle of winter, I don't want to do that. My wife is pregnant yet again. Let's make a beautiful... Let's make an attractive and genius, please. A, a genius boy. Hold a local tourney. No, I don't want to do that. I don't want to change my culture either, do I? I'm of, I'm of the veil. Although, if I did do that... It would make him like me a little bit better. Actually, the foreigner penalty in this case is zero. Action member zero. I hate the fact that I'm excommunicated. I need to get that fixed. Okay, well, I'm going to wrap this one up here. In the next video, we will, again, work on doing something. I don't know. We'll see if we can actually eventually end up being not excommunicated someday. It's a tough war that we're fighting here because we're losing about what, 9 or 10 piety a year, but eventually, maybe. Thanks for watching. See you soon.